I just got here. Um, so this is my um, one month auntie. I'm pretty excited about. Um, yeah, I mean I'm on a pretty low dosage, so it's not like this overwhelming, big, huge change. But I do feel like my voice is dropping, and I'm definitely stinkier. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah, I, I weird myself out. I'm like, whoa, what's that stench? Woo. And then I have to apply lots of deodorant, um, which I don't mind. I'm, I'm kind of relishing. It's interesting. I, somebody was reflecting on um, their teenage boy, which, you know, I thought to myself, yeah, I'm very similar to a teenage guy right now in terms of the changes that are ongoing. Um, but she's like, yeah, boys are gross. And I was like, I'm quite excited about the license to be gross. Like, uh, you know, as a female bodied person, you, there's a certain amount of standard, unfair, fair, whatever you want to call it, that, you know, you're supposed to have in terms of appearance, odor, and etc. But with guys, there's a lot more license just to, just to be, I don't know, uh, I'm probably reading into it too much. Um, anyway, so one month on tea, uh, I feel awesome. I uh, feel that there are some in, some things that I, I didn't quite anticipate, but others that I'm really, really excited about and can't wait for things to change more. And <clears throat> I took pictures uh, every week and I can... tell that my face is like getting um, bigger or it's expanding and my neck is definitely getting bigger as well and of course I've been working out as well so uh, I find that my shoulders are becoming more and more defined so that's very exciting. Uh, I'm not going for a big muscle look but um, I do want things to be you know looking more male so um, yeah I'm excited about those changes. Um, I find that I'm, I'm getting faster and faster, um, especially during my runs. Um, I was pretty slow on there. I think a lot of it had to do with the effects of my binder and uh, I've talked about uh, having anemia um, in other videos. <clears throat> so um, all of those things kind of working against me. I also um, took a lot of trips to the Arctic this winter and running in negative 40 to 60 degree Celsius um, weather doesn't really do the body well. <laughs> so anyways, all these things, but I, I feel like I'm, my, my speed's picking up again. And uh, when I run, my muscles feel like they're going to explode. Um, and so I don't run too crazy. I'm trying to kind of be nice to my body as it goes through these transitions. But I definitely am excited about uh, increased muscle mass. Um, what else? Uh, uh, there's so much, so much more, but I can't think of it all. And uh, I'm sure documented in other movies or videos. Uh, what else? I'm really excited. <clears throat> this Sunday in Vancouver, we have the Sun Run. It's an annual race, 10K race. And um, this year is my first year racing, or this is my first ever race as a male. Signed up as Kai Scott and all these things. So I'm really excited. I'm not expecting any like amazing results. Last year I ran a really good race in terms of time, but I don't expect to get close to that. But I'm really excited about finishing a race, hopefully, um, and as me. And, um, you know, I'm, it's interesting because, you know, as a female um, body person signing up as female in races I obviously was doing very 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 well <laughs> sometimes placing within the top three of you know um, of the race and so um, not in, on the sun run in the sun run it was top three within my um, uh, age category as a, registered as a female so it's like interesting to it's not that I'm giving that up because I never really identify it as that, but it's certainly um, a whole different ballgame um, racing with guys, uh, with other guys. And um, 
it um, it would be interesting. Hopefully the testosterone will kind of even that out. And um, yeah, I don't know. But I'm excited about racing as a guy. I don't care how I place uh, or whatnot. I'm just in the right category now, right? So yeah, that's on Sunday and I'm team captain and I'm going to be leading a whole crew of guys and hopefully we'll kick butt as a team. Um, what else? Yeah, and then today I went to um, um, a lunch uh, where the, the mayor of Vancouver spoke and um, it's interesting that you know, um, gay and lesbian issues are still for, for, forefront and important, and I understand that. But it's interesting now that trans stuff is starting to come up, and um, politicians are really um, zeroing in on that as an issue, uh, and they recognize that a lot of there's still a lot of groundwork to, to cover, even here in Canada, um, even in such a liberal city as Vancouver. And so, um, they're going to be starting this task force on trans-related issues in Vancouver, and I was asked um, uh, by someone to join that task force, and so I was like, wow, I haven't been out very long, and <laughs> already I'm, um, you know, going, I'm considering, you know, this, this, it's not a political piece, but it's, you know, a bit more of an active, activist type uh you know, bent. Um, I'm, I, I'm not 100% as to whether I'll do it or not, but uh, mainly because I have a lot of work and then, you know, um, surgery and all, just transition related stuff. And so I've got to be careful with my, my uh, energy and all that in terms of where I dedicate things. Uh, but it would be kind of cool to, to be kind of at the forefront um, uh, dealing with things like, you know, um, bathroom issues and uh, shower facilities and uh, building codes and that doesn't sound very interesting but it, it does work out um, you know it, it just has a, a like a day-to-day -day impact right um, and a lot of clubs uh, uh, along Davy Street uh, which is kind of the neighborhood um, they have facilities that are uh, mixed gendered which I like I, I like where I don't have to it's not this like huge you know, division, and everybody uses the same bathroom, and but there's there's safety considerations for for some folks um, in those types of situations, especially um, you know sometimes uh, female uh, folk uh, have concerns and those need to be addressed and all that yada yada yada. Anywho, so yeah, just that's kind of my update um, and a bit of a. A celebratory moment for me in terms of um, <clears throat> being one month and um, yeah I can't wait to see what the next month brings in terms of hopefully especially the videos that I've watched I, I notice um, a more significant drop in the second month or you know during the second month of testosterone so I expect to hopefully have the same experience and so we'll see uh, anyway I hope everyone's doing well and talk to you later